Hey y'all, it's your girl Sashi E. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing the maximum hydration method to my hair. So as you guys can see, my hair is very, very dry, but that's nothing new. So for the entire summer, all I've been doing to my hair are protective styles. And to keep it real, y'all, when I do my protective styles, I leave my hair alone. I do not touch my hair, usually for two to three weeks. So my hair is dry and in some need of hydration okay so I started to do a little bit of research to see what I can do to get that moisture back into my hair and I did come across some blog posts and also some videos on the maximum hydration method and y'all I was sold I was like I want to try this to see how my hair reacts to it and y'all I have to say I am quite impressed by the method I will say though um, they do require or they do suggest I should say that um, you do the cherry lola treatment before going into the maximum hydration part of things but with the cherry lola treatment they require amino acids greek yogurt and some say you can add honey and all i had was the honey so i decided not to do that part of things and to just follow up with the maximum hydration part of things so y'all if you guys want to see how my hair turned out and the entire process definitely stay tuned all right guys, so as I mentioned, the Cherry Lola treatment is step one, but I will not be doing that in today's video. So I am moving on to step two, which is the apple cider rinse. This is to cleanse my hair. So you can either choose between a baking soda mix or an apple cider vinegar mix. And I decided to do equal parts apple cider vinegar to equal parts water. So I am going to be applying this to my scalp and also to my hair strands. So the instruction said that I was supposed to leave this on for 30 minutes to an hour. I did not follow instructions. I'm not going to be dishonest, but I did not. Um, I left it on for maybe about five minutes. And maybe that's why I did not feel a difference in my hair during the step. My hair felt the same, to be honest. It did not feel stripped or anything like that. Um, apple cider vinegar is known to make your hair feel kind of dry and stripped my hair didn't feel like that i think i kept feeling the oils that i had on my hair previously from when i did my crochet hairstyle i'm um, looking at the footage now i can say my hair does look shinier and i do see my definition trying to poke through but other than that y'all i didn't really feel much of a difference during this step also guys, I do have to give you all a heads up. So if you're not familiar with apple cider vinegar, it does smell bad. Um, so that's something to definitely look out for. Also, my clumsy butt got the apple cider vinegar in my eye. So my eye was burning um, at one point. So yeah, definitely be careful with it because it does burn. But other than that, as I said, my hair does look a little bit shinier. And also I do see some definition trying to come through. All right, y'all, so we are at the third step, you guys. So this is the co-wash slash conditioning step. You can either use a co-wash for this step or you can use a conditioner. I decided to use a conditioner because I don't really have a lot of co-washes here at home. So yeah, I'm just applying a good amount of conditioner to each section of my hair and I really work that into my hair strands and then I proceed to follow up with detangling with a detangling brush. After detangling, I just put on a shower cap. I let my hair sit for about 10 minutes before I rinsed out the conditioner. So at this point, as you guys can see by my face, I was tired, okay? But this is how my hair looks after conditioning it. It looks normal. Um, it's a little bit frizzy because I did use a detangling brush, but other than that, it looks fine. All right guys, so I am on to the fourth step. So now I'm gonna be adding the bentonite heel and clay mask. So here you see me just pouring that into a bowl. I'm pouring as much as I need. I didn't measure it out or anything like that. So I think that's a good amount for me. 
And then I'm going to take the rest of that water and apple cider vinegar and I'm just going to add it to that and mix it around until it gets to the consistency that I like. I don't like for it to be too thick and I also don't like for it to be too runny. So this to me is perfect for me. So I'm going to re-wet my hair because my hair dries so quickly, you guys. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to my hair and then I'm going to proceed to add the clay mask. I will say, you guys, this was my favorite part of this entire thing. I feel like after this mask, I was able to see like real results as far as my curls looking super defined and shiny and super clumped together. So yeah, this was definitely my favorite part. I will say y'all throughout this process, my hair did not feel stripped or super dry, which I was expecting. Uh, I usually do my clay mask with only apple cider vinegar. And this time I added a little water to it and I feel like it made it a little bit more moisturizing for me guys. I don't know if that's what that's really about, but that's how I felt. My hair was not super stripped after I rinsed out this mask. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to show you another footage of how my hair looks. As you guys can see, every curl is defined, which is rare for me. So yeah, now I am showing you guys how my hair looks after letting it sit for about 15 minutes. I'm also showing you guys how messy this mask get. I'm trying to figure out how the heck I got this mask on my eyelashes, but only me, y'all, only me. But yeah, I let it sit for only about 15 minutes before I proceeded to rinse this out. I I did take my time to rinse this out you guys because I did not want this to stay in my hair and y'all my poor tub you guys my poor tub was filled with this clay clay was everywhere this is such a messy process so that's definitely something you do have to keep in mind but as I said um, I love the way my hair looked after this step I loved how my hair felt after this step and I'm here for it you guys I feel like this is the step that's really the game changer in all of this as you guys can see my hair is super shiny it's still very defined you don't see a lot of frizz and I'm just really impressed with the overall results guys so I'm on to my fifth step yay finally and I am going to be using the melanin hair care leave-in treatment y'all I've been sleep on this leave-in conditioner I've had it for months y'all just sitting on my shelf and finally decided to give it a shot today and it is so moisturizing so if you guys have not tried that definitely give it a shot it's definitely a thumbs up for me the smell kind of threw me off a little bit I wasn't expecting it to have a pepper mint type smell but other than that it was bomb.com so I'm just adding the leave-in to my entire head of hair and then I'm going to put it in some sections you guys and then I am going to put a shower cap on my hair and then I'm gonna go ahead and take me a little shower to freshen myself up and then I'll come back to you guys for the styling portion of the video all right guys, so I am back looking fresh and clean and we are finally on the last step. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'll be using to style my hair. So I'll be using the Luster's Jerry Curl Activator and also my Eco Styler Gel to style my hair. I don't really do wash and goes often, but when I do, I do like the Jerry Curl and the Eco Styler combination. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll add the Jerry Curl first and then I'll add the Eco Styler on top. I will link a video above so that you guys can see how I do my wash and goes, especially with the Jerry Curl juice. I also wanted to talk to you guys about the final results of my hair. You guys will see my hair in just a little bit, um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how I stretched my hair because I know somebody's gonna ask. So I did use a blow dryer this time. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to use methods that don't require heat on my hair. So I usually use rubber bands or I use crunchy when it comes to stretching my hair with the banding method. 
but this time I wanted to be done with the process since I've been doing my hair all day I wanted to just do something quick and easy so I did the blow dryer stretching method and y'all that worked really nicely for me so if you guys would like to see a video on how I do that just let me know down below in the comments and I will make it for you guys guys so I am back and I just wanted to show you guys the final results of my hair after using the maximum hydration method and I will say you guys I am quite impressed by the results of my hair y'all my hair is so defined it is so shiny you guys it is so moisturized you guys and there's absolutely no frizz and I actually did go back in and stretch my hair after I applied my styling product so I'm super surprised that there is no frizz my hair actually reminds me of back in like 2017 2018 when my hair was super moisture trained and back at that time all I did to my hair were wash and goes y'all I wasn't doing any protective styles or anything like that I just did wash and goes twice a week to my hair you guys and my hair was so moisturized all the time now after doing my big chop about a year and a half ago like I have not been able to get my hair back to this level of moisture and just definition and anti-frizz like it's been a hassle for me so this pretty much just cured that pretty much just saved the day with that you guys because my hair has not been like this in a few years now so I'm very happy with the results I will say if you guys are having issues with definition if you guys are having issues with frizz your curls aren't lasting how you want them to last or look the way that you want them to look this is definitely something for you to try out I will say it is not for the faint of heart the same for the week okay you gonna be doing your hair all day okay I started this at one o'clock it is now 7 35 <laughs> at night and I'm just getting done I'm um, wrapping up this video and everything like that so this is not for the week of heart so if you have some time on your hands definitely give it a try if you really want your curls to come back um, but yeah I don't want y'all to get frustrated when y'all see that it's five hours and six hours then pass and y'all are still doing your hair so yeah that's the only thing that I really had to say everything else I think I said it over on the voiceover but yeah guys that is it for today's video if you have any questions be sure to leave those down below also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video that really helps with my engagement also don't forget to subscribe turn on your notifications I post three times times per week so definitely turn on your bell so you don't miss an upload from me and I'll see you guys in the next video bye